What's up, superstars? My name is Miss Sieber. This is my virtual classroom, and welcome to Superstar Parking. Today, we are going to continue learning about elapsed time, but there might be a little twist. Before we dive into the problem, you know Miss Sieber loves her surprises. So, you met my brother, and today, you get to meet my sister. But let me tell you something about my sister. She talks a lot and uses her hands. Jamie, come on in, girl. Ooh, clap it up for Jamie, yeah. Hi. Hmm, I'm confused. What does that mean? My name is Jamie, and in sign language, it's Jamie, because I'm always smiling. Oh, so when I said you use your hands, you use your hands actually to talk. Yeah, it's sign language. Cool. Well, welcome to my channel. High five, girl. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Jamie. Today, we are going to be teaching my friends about elapsed time. Now, I'm going to read the problem, and as I'm reading the problem, I think that you could teach my friends a little something about sign language as well. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so we know that elapsed time is the amount of time that passes from the start of an activity to the end. But this problem is a little different. So my problem says, Miss Jamie teaches sign language. Miss Jamie. Her class starts at 9 a.m., 9 in the morning, and lasts a total of 33 minutes. At what time does her class end? Thank you, Miss Jamie. I hope you guys got that. So, Miss Jamie, I teach my students three very important things. First, we circle all of the numbers in our problem. Second, we underline important information. And third, we write a nice big star. That means stop. That's important and it could change your answer if you do not stop and read what it's asking you to. So Miss Jamie, you think you can give it a shot? Let's start. So Jamie, Miss Jamie teaches sign language, okay? Her class starts at 9 a.m. What should we circle? 9 a.m. Why? Because it's a time. Is it my end time? Your start time. Okay, so can you circle that for me, Miss Jamie? Thank you, my lady. And it lasts, so it starts at 9 a.m. and lasts 33 minutes. Do you think the 33 minutes is my end time or do you think it's my elapsed time? Elapsed time. So can you circle that important information for me? Wow, beautiful circle by the way. <laughs> really? And then at what time does her class end? So why should we underline this whole sentence? Because it's your question. Because it's my question and we always want to underline our question. So can you underline my question for me? Drinker. Are we done? No. Oh, kiss your brain. Good job, Miss Jamie. What should we do next? We circled, we underlined, and we're missing one key component to this question. Star. What should we star? End. End, because that's what we need to find. We know my start time, we know my elapsed time, so now we need to stop because we need to figure out my end time. Can you put a nice little star? There you go. One thing I always teach you guys before you begin a problem, set yourself up for success. Success. If you said success, air high five. What does that mean, Miss Sieber? I don't know. When you set yourself up for success, let's put in my start time. Miss Jamie, what is my start time? 9 a.m. 9 o'clock a.m. What's my end time? That's what we need to find out. Okay, so are we gonna put anything in for end time? What are we gonna put for elapsed time? 33 minutes. 33 minutes, good job. Now I'm going to abbreviate minutes. Are we ready to begin? Let's yes. do it. All right, my friends, Jamie has our clock set up. We know the small hand holds all the power because it tells me the minutes. The small hand holds all the power. What does it rhyme with? It tells me the hour. hour. So my small hand is on the nine, because that's my hour, and my minute hand is on the 12, because it is nine o'clock on the dot. Let's begin. So, my starting time. Did one hour go by? No. no, there was only 33 minutes. So we're not going to use my mountains. We are going to start using my hills. Hills represent five or 10 minutes. 
Are you ready? I have my handy dandy pink marker and we are going to begin. So this is my start. We are starting at nine o'clock a.m. I'm going to do one jump of 10. We started at nine o'clock. What time is it now? 9, 10. You could also just add 10 o'clock in the minutes. Now remember, every time you do a jump, so we just jumped 10 minutes, you need to stop and rewrite the new time. So that way you set yourself up for success and you do not forget how much more minutes you need to add. So 9, 10, let's do another jump of 10. What time is it now? 9, 20. 9, 20. Can we do another jump of 10? Yes. Because we need to do a total of 33 minutes. So we did 10, we did 20. Now we are going to do another jump of 10, and what time is it now? 9.30. 9.30. My elapsed time is 33 minutes. Are we still using my pink hills? Are we making jumps of five and jumps of 10? No. 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 So I'm gonna put it away, and I'm gonna bring out my handy dandy green marker to show one minute, my little rocks. So now I have my green marker, but I kind of forgot what it represents. So when I'm looking at my chart, my green represents my rocks and one minute. So I'm going to use my green marker to show one minute. So we are at 930. We need to jump a total of 33 minutes. So we have 30 minutes already jumped. Now we need to jump three minutes. So I will do three jumps of one minute. So count with me. One, one two, two, three. And now what is my time, Miss Jamie? You counted the tick marks. One, two, three to show 9.33. Good job, Jamie. So what was my end time? 9.33. 9.33. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, man. 9.33. Yeah, you did. What did I forget? PM or AM. Oh my goodness. You are such a stickler with that. And I love you for it. I got my handy dandy black marker. 9.33 A. M because if it was p.m. that would be way more than just 33 minutes. All right, thank you for coming and signing with me. Can you teach my friends one last thing? Sure. So before we go, Miss Jamie's going to teach you something very important. So get your hands ready, get your brains on, and Jamie, take it away. Could you elaborate on that? Learning is fun. Learning is fun, yes it is. Thank you for coming to Superstar Parking. If you would like to see any other videos, click one around, air high five, kiss your brain, and I'll see you next time. Bye.